You know, I could just watch these things spin all day long if I wanted to. But where the fun would that be? Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mega Man 5 playthrough. We're making some good progress, I'd like to think, anyway. Today we're probably more than likely going to find out what exactly is going on. What is Proto Man doing? Why is his name Dark Man? And, uh, well, where do we go from here? First, though, as you might expect, we need to get through these stages. Getting as many extra lives as the game is going to give us freely with no uh, challenge whatsoever. Also, it seems like uh, borrowing a lot from Charge Man in, in, in this level. I don't know why. Charge Man is just a freaking train, but... But on the other hand, what exactly do I know about the laws of robotics? For all I know, Charge Man could be a... Uh, weapon of pure brilliance, for all I know. Ah, jeez, come on. Whew! That was close. Oh, jeez. Okay. I can do this, guys. I can do this. Yeah, I can. I can do this. This be cool. This be cool, yo. Oh, jeez. I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. I kind of feel like using an E-Tank. Uh, not going to lie, probably should. I want to see if I can maybe get some energy, though, from uh, these fools. Ah! Dang it! Where do I start back? Really? At the very beginning? Screw that. Okay, first up. Grabbing that. Second up, grabbing this. Be very careful about those spikes, though. Those spikes can end your day. Thanks, Extra Life! My god, they are just handing them to me. And look, here's another one. Free candy for Mega Man, everybody. Free candy. So much free candy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, better use this. I don't want to start back at the very beginning again. Really, really don't. Oh, and there's a... Got a health... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like a drinking game. Every time I find a free life, take a drink. <laughs> oh my god, seriously. <laughs> All the lives that I uh, lost getting back to that point already made up for him. That's... That's crazy. Ah, jeez. You know what? I like tigers. Tigers are cool. They're, uh... Really cool animals. Definitely one of the coolest. But, uh... Don't like when they're trying to kill me. <laughs> not gonna lie. Not, 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 not a fan of that. Really, really not a fan of that. Okay, so today's weakness, like I said, a uh, beat in your uh, supercharged Mega Buster will probably do the most damage. But you can also use Napalm Bomb and Crystal Eye and even the Super Arrow. That's right, even the Super Arrow actually has a uh, weakness for this next boss. Uh, I want to go for the Crystal Eye. I think that seems to be a good weapon to go for. And what do we have? We have... Uh, 
We have uh, Mr. Shield Man. I think the only uh, difficult thing about this boss is he does have a uh, pretty intimidating hitbox, but once you get around that, not too bad. And there we go. That stage was actually kind of difficult, not going to lie. <laughs> well, what do we have next? Allow us to continue game. For great justice, we will see what's in store for us. Okay, looks like we're outside. Uh, do we get... I was hoping for some extra gravity. Or zero gravity, I think that's the, that's the technical term. Jeez, those robots and their flying airships. What are you, the Koopalings? Alright, which one's Lemmy? Which one's Lemmy and where's your giant balls? <laughs> yep. Not too bad, not too bad to deal with. One thing I really like is when you're looking at the map for this area, when you're, uh, you know, at the castle map screen, you actually kind of get a feel for uh, what the layer is going to look like in terms of a vertical and horizontal perspective. Also, take a drink, got an extra life. So we're going up right now, and at some point we're going to go right a little bit, then we're going to go down again, and after that, that's essentially where the boss is going to be. I kind of like that design choice. You can kind of get a feel for how close you are to the end. Ah, shoot. I was like, whatever, I'll take the hit there. Those guys, not as aggressive as they probably could be. Mega Man 5 really is an easy game, though. I mean, even the sections that would honestly be pretty difficult, they're really manageable, though. Like, you can easily manage them by just being patient and observing your surroundings. You know, I love that and hate that about Mega Man 5, because I do feel like this game could be more challenging. But at the same time, I really, really like it. And one of the big strong points is I really love the background designs in this game. I mean, we've seen like a Starry Night background before. So, we're borrowing more from Mario, is that it? Okay, well, whatever game, uh, I'm cool with that. I love Mario, as you guys know. I kind of screwed myself, though, I think. Uh, <laughs> this was probably not the best thing for me to do, honestly, but... Uh, Let's see if I can save myself here. Um, nope. Ah, that's fine. Okay, let's try this part again. Anyway, like I was uh, kind of trying to say there, uh, the design of this place, I mean, yeah, we have seen the Starry Night theme several times, but... They just add a lot more detail, I feel like, and I think that's honestly a good part of this game. They focus more on the graphical presentation than the actual gameplay, which, honestly, I normally don't like when they do that. But this game, this game, I find it hard to really be that angry with them for doing that. Ugh. But still, sections like that are kind of bullcrap, honestly. sections where the guy you're trying to destroy or get past is pretty much unavoidable. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, God, another one. 
Oh, God, that was close. It was close, but we did it. We made it We made it through. Now we just have uh, another one of these sections. Seriously, a lot of concepts that were either used or brought back in some way in Mario Super Mario World. Can't remember if this game came first or not. I'll have to check that off camera. Anyway, um, probably going to die here. So let's see what we're up against. Maybe I'll just I'll just restart from that point. Uh, this guy, as usual, you can use beat the bird to do max damage, but you can also use the gyro attack, and once again, you can use the super arrow. So I think I'm gonna go for gyro attack this time. This guy looks kind of uh, tricky. Oh no! Shoot. Ah. No, he has time stop, but he missed me anyway. What the? There we go. Okay, there we go. That takes care of Darkman Stage 3. We only have one more stage remaining. Can't remember if this stage is uh, short or not, though. I honestly don't remember. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah, it is. It's very short, actually. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do it, guys. Uh, okay, this stage is a stage that is very very collapsible what I mean by this is you shoot a block and the castle will start falling down you can use this to your advantage though however so as you can see we're gonna be uh, doing quite a bit of this There we go. Got to be kind of clever with how you do this sometimes. But it is entirely manageable. Okay, here we go. Our good friend Breakman. What the? Hey! Ah, there we go. Now that's the Proto Man I know. So we're actually fighting the real Dark Man now. This guy is the actual foe we have to deal with. And, uh,. I kind of feel like using Beat the Bird a little bit, but um, no. His other weaknesses are the Power Stone and the Star Crash. We haven't seen Power Stone yet. Although, Power Stone can actually be kind of tricky. It can be kind of tricky to aim. Oh, what the hell? Where did that thing come from? So yeah, I probably wouldn't use Power Stone as a means for defeating them, but you do have some other options. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Beat. Just to kind of show off how broken he can be in a scenario like this. Now don't be afraid to use your own blaster while you're doing this. Don't let Beat do all the work. And there you go. 
That takes care of him. And with that, let's actually get some plot here. You've done well, Mega Man. I never expected you to defeat my powerful Dark Man robot. Oh no, it's him. Until now, I have managed to frame Proto Man for my crimes. But now, the real Proto Man has appeared and spoiled my plan. Dr. Light is a captive in my lab. Come if you dare. Ha ha ha. So yeah, we really should have seen that coming. It was, of course, Dr. Wily this whole time. And his shifty eyes. His shifty freaking eyes. He does have a new castle this time around. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do one level of this before we close the video out. Because I believe there's uh, five levels this time around. You have the uh, first three levels. You have the rematch level. And uh, after that, uh, got to go from there, I guess. Uh, let's see. I definitely want that E-Tank. I'm actually thinking about using my Master Tank here. I believe you can get another one in this area. So I'm going to you go ahead and use this now just to get stocked up on everything. Because I used a lot of my stuff in Dark Man stages. Let's go ahead and grab the E-Tank and move forward. Oh boy, we have a falling section. We know how these usually go. Oh gee, what the? Oh, come on, really? Okay, so I guess you want to go to the left here, not the right. I seriously really, really hate that aspect of uh, these older NES games. The BS game design, as I keep bringing up. Stuff that, you, like, you have no idea that it's there until it's already too late. That stuff is just... Oh, I hate that so much. I can imagine there's a lot of people who's not a fan of that, but, uh... As someone who used to struggle to beat these games, that's just something I really, really hate, because that's always what really discouraged me from finishing these games. And, honestly, they're a lot of fun if you play them from beginning to end, so... It's kind of a shame that they kind of discourage you by putting in sections like that. Ah, got rid of all of you, got my health back. It's a good day for everything, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Hooray for one square platforming jumps. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. No, come on. That's lame. Well, at least I start right here. I may actually use my uh, rush jet for a section up here. Because that's kind of lame. Kind of lame how... You have to make jumps like that sometimes. Okay. Oh boy, we have uh, crushers. Hey, it's like a uh, Dust Man stage in Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man, what's it called? Uh, four, right? You know, the last game I beat. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, I can move forward. Can't move too much forward, though. Chicken! Okay, let's see. Okay, made it. Hopefully we get a save point right here. I really, really hope we do. What do we got? We have... Oh boy, we have a thing with... Uh... Oh right, this thing. I kind of remember this. What you have to do is you essentially have to jump from platform to platform, then aim at the big guy, shoot him in the face. I could potentially do this without taking a hit, but now that I have only one damage, I'm a little more nervous than, uh, yep, there we go. Well, let me, uh, see if I can get a good respawn. Okay, good, yeah, this works. Weakness for this guy would be the Crystal Eye, so we're going to, uh, equip that before we move in. Actually, after thinking about it, I should probably go to Mega Buster first this way so I actually have something to hit these platforms with and I don't waste my crystal eye ammo on the actual platforms themselves this can be a really really challenging fight and I feel like you can get two hits on him right there it's just not working for me for some reason okay there we go got him Yes, okay, there we go, got two hits. Okay, this is working pretty well. Gotta get in a very good position with these uh, little floating things, though. They're quite easily the worst thing about this fight, because they can just uh, really throw you off if you're not prepared for them. But that will take care of this boss. And I think I'm going to call it there finish up the rest of the game next part for the finale so uh yeah let's start closing it out this has been slim kirby this has been Mega Man 5 thank you guys for enjoying and watching this part and i will see you guys next time for some more dr wily action this looks like it's going to be a very long stage too <laughs> okay see you guys later